Hey, hey, uh, hi, I am Idle Glass, and today I'll tell you everything about Fishing Break Online, new fishing game, very awesome one, and uh, this is a guide, this is a guide, so I'll tell you all secrets and tips, so you will play, enjoy this game immensely. So, the most important thing in this game, it's uh, to understand parameters. If you will look into your fishing box, you will see different slots, six slots for different equipment. And when you just start to play, the most important parameter is attack. So right now you, you see I wear this rod, which gives 70 attack. How attack works? Let's uh, go somewhere to another location, so eventually you will you will get to um, high level locations. For example, right now I can go to 7th farm adventure. And it's perfect spot to demonstrate to you how it works. So, I cast my rod and I wait when fish will eat it. Okay, you see? Fish ate immediately and take my hook off. And now we see hit points, how much hit points left uh, for this fish. So right now this fish it has 12. Why 12? Because it was at the beginning it was 82, but my attack it's 70. So uh, after it ate my hook, now it has 12 because 82 minus 70. And now, now I can catch it. So when I just started to play, I thought, hmm, this high level fish, I can't uh, get them out. But actually you can. But you should do it from second attempt or maybe third attempt. It depends on your attack. That's why the most important thing when you just start to play, focus at your attack and buy very good rod. There are different rarities of items, uh, common items, uncommon, rare, epic and legendary. The thing is that upgrading equipment is very costly and you spend gold on it. You get uh, gold every time when you catch some fish. So let me show it to you. Let's go to some mediocre location, for example to this one. It's called Isis. And so when you catch a fish, you get some gold, you see, like 207 right now I got. And to upgrade, for example, fishing my fishing pole from level 14 till level 15 will cost 150,000 gold. It's quite a lot. Uh, at the same time, when you just start to play, you will have something like uncommon or rare rod. So your first goal is to get legendary rod. Where to get it? There are different types of chests which you could get through the events. So from time to time each location has random event. And uh, the more players around the better events will be. So it's multiplayer game. So the easiest way to get these chests, very good chests, is go to the first location. Even though I am not a new player already, I still go a lot to first location here because there are a lot of players quite often and uh, events here it's quite easy to complete them so yeah you you should focus on getting chests for example this is gold chest and uh, gold chest they got like seven percent to get legendary i didn't had any legendary item from chests yet uh, though i even opened uh, two diamond chests where I get my wand, I, I went to the shop. So there is a shop and uh, in gear tab, there sometimes you will meet here a legendary rod. So your first thing which you should buy in this shop, it's legendary rod. You actually will have enough, uh, enough currency. There are, except gold, there are also like bucks, like uh, cash. You will have enough cash just from uh, completing your missions. There are a lot of achievements, different achievements, and you get plenty of um, cash from it. 
but it's important do not spend it on anything so all cash you got you should spend especially if you are free to play player like i am you should spend only in the shop so in this gear tab you should first uh, get 400 bucks and then for 400 cash you could uh, buy good rod which parameter is important every equipment item got main parameter so for fishing rods for example it will always be main parameter it's always attack so you see uh, but the more rare uh, the biggest rarity item is the more additional parameters will be there for example uh, this is my gloves and these gloves they have uh, parameter real speed its main parameter and critical stun second so after you let me demonstrate it to you after you uh, finish leveling up main parameter for example for this item it's maximum you could uh, level up it five times you see it's max out of five real speed but then you could do two additional level ups and uh, when you will do them you will get additional uh, parameter critical stun but you wouldn't get a uh, real speed more than uh, five times another tip by the way do not throw away items which you level up for example if you leveled up when you just start to play uh, rare rod do not sell it right on why because there are a lot of achievements uh, one second yeah there are a lot of achievements in game which uh, tell you to upgrade equipment so when you just start to play do not throw away common gear for example right on first upgrade it common gear and then sell it all other gear it will be too costly for you when you just start to, pl to play to upgrade it so you could sell it you could sell uncommon rare epic but common you will you could upgrade it and sell right away when you just start to play but your main equip equ equipment items so for example it was my main rod for a long time this rod you see it's level 10 it's maximum upgraded uh, I do not need it, but still I plan later on, I'll plan to upgrade it and sell it when it will be full upgraded because this achievement, achievement for uh, getting cash, it says that you should upgrade your arm, upgrade your items till full. So you need to maximize upgrades at common gear at uncommon gear so yeah it, all players do it eventually so there are also a lot of different uh, other missions look through them but yeah you could just play and eventually you will complete them it's very fast by the way it's very fast like in one day or two days you could get enough uh, if you play intensely you could get enough cash like 400 cash to buy legendary road the problem is that it wouldn't be here all the time so every few uh, hours uh, this gear in the shop refreshed so you see it's uh, not really good visible line it's in orange just below theater gear there is a small line new offers will appear in so you there is a time when it will be refreshed so yeah just wait when uh, the the rod appear and buy it it's most important thing also of course these rods they could be random so for example this rod this particular rod it has additional parameters like line resistance grow fish extra coins it's very good for end game because at end game you will want to have a lot of extra coins to upgrade your equipment because it's very costly also grow fish will help you in uh, uh, getting through levels uh, light resistance also good so actually there will be um, you will have some random uh, rod but any almost any rod will do when you just start to play you just need a lot of attack so additional parameters also it's very nice to get uh, additional parameters as attack at different types of gear so example even these heads you see this head for example it has uh, additional parameter attack so it's not bad but i do not level up it really because it's uh, only epic so you should focus on 
leveling up only legendary gear because other gear it will be kind of waste of waste of resources except uh, like yeah real it's nice to level up real because line resistance it's very important parameter line resistance or uh, fish it will be very hard to catch fish uh, real speed it's also very important parameter so you you should level up rod your reel and your gloves it's important thing also uh, your boat because line length it's uh, really important cast distance it's uh, you do not need really it's uh, it's enough critical hit it's a, a bit helps but not, not too much so yeah the thing is that uh, when, when I just first upgraded my uh, board with line length, I thought, why I did it? Because what to do right now? Now my uh, fishing line go too deep. And if it's deep, it's very long time for you to get fish out. But actually, it's not a problem. Because when you cast your rod, you could stop it. So you make a, make a cast and then you click again. You see? And now... Uh, my hook just nearby to the water so you could control the d the depth of your casting rod when you cast rod so like this you see it's just near the surface it didn't go down it's how all people actually uh, do in most of in most most of the time you want to catch fish fish just nearby to the water surface it's a quite important thing because if you fish like this you will need a lot of efforts to get fish you will need a lot of time at the same time when you do it do like this just nearby to the uh, water surface you see it's very fast this way you could uh, fish and uh, be first in a lot of fishing events and uh, fish a lot <laughs> farm a lot of gold also there are some uh, other tricks you could control position of your hook by sliding. So after you already um, cast your rod, you could then swipe from one side to another and you could control where your hook will be. Sometimes it's important because you want uh, to catch rare fish. For example, you see this golden, golden fish just below me. It's rare. So I, I want to, to catch it. To do so, I need to have my hook nearby to it. So you should uh, sometimes do it. But actually, it's uh, sometimes fish, it will just uh, go to the surface too. So when you just start to play focus, just getting any fish which you could. Uh, eventually, you will uh, catch all rare fish. And there are a lot of different types of rare fish. You could see it. Uh, at the top right corner there is a notepad with a golden fish if you click on it you will see your fish book uh, it lists fish uh, fish types at this particular location every location has its own fish book so for example in this location marsh its first location there are like six fish of this of the same uh, rarity so common uncommon rare epic it's kind of main four uh, types of fish and then there are special legendary fishes and they divide in different types like light ice grass fire electric dark and uh, what does it mean it just the same fish but it go in different color for example this golden one which we saw let's let's find yeah here this golden fish you could find it in the list yeah here uh, it's it's electric yeah so it's uh, i think this one yeah you see electric carp the thing is that uh, every location all the time will have one legendary uh, special fish like this golden one every location and every location has its own um, its own cycle so right now if i will catch this golden fish let's do it 
uh, when I'll catch this golden fish, another golden fish will appear. When I, if I'll catch another golden fish, also another uh, fish will appear again. And uh, it's kind of cycle. So a lot of we will catch like six or seven uh, golden fishes, and then uh, then uh, we will have change change of the type so it will be not electric fish but for example fire fish or dark fish and each location has its own cycle so you if you already for example you see i already got all electric fishes except pike electric pike i need so if i if i got for example all electric fishes and uh, we have here electric uh, electric type you could just switch to another location. Also, if you, for example, do not like the event, if you wish to find event for uh, diamond chest, you could also switch location to something else. So you switch locations, it's a good thing to do. Some, some location could have a lot of rare fish more than others. So yeah, you travel from one place to another. Another special important thing, it's how uh, strategies how to catch fish effectively so you see i feel i i'm trying to fish just nearby to the surface because then uh, you do not uh, you, it's very easy to get out the fish it doesn't struggle too much because if you go from from the depth uh, it, it will be much harder it will be much harder let's take a look yeah you see so the thing is that uh, it it resists it resists you from time to time, and you should uh, release. You should release. It's, by the way, it was a new fish. You see, I have a star and a hero, and the level up. Nice. So uh, the thing is that you uh, should release the line when it resists too much. It's kind of basic uh, idea. I think you figured out it. Uh, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to release it because uh, fish, you see, I released it. And it will take quite long time for fish to uh, to get out. But eventually it will do. I, but still, it's better to, to release the line sometimes than to hold it for too long. Because if, if you overhold it, then fish will just um, break and you wouldn't get anything so yeah the secret is to catch the fish just nearby to the surface it's the best um, thing to do yeah like this yeah also uh, note that your character staying to the right side um, of the boat and you always get the fish from the right side. It means if it will be very nice for you if fish will take uh, take it from the right side, your fishing line. So from this side, if fish will go from this side, like this, it will be easier to catch it because there are physics like uh, inertia. So the direction where fish um, swims at this particular time. It, it helps you to get the fish easier. So there are different small uh, secrets like this. Because sometimes, yeah, sometimes you could just do, do it like this. It's uh, just simplest way to catch a lot of fish. It's just do it near to the surface like this. Hop. Very easy. Uh, then, important thing about leveling. So, I just got level. And if you will click at the left top corner... You will. Uh, there, there is a star, this purple star, and I am right now level 57. To get to level 58, I need to catch five new fish, five new types. So, uh, for example, at this particular location, you see, I didn't catch a lot of uh, stuff, so it's very easy to to get new fish every time when you close certain rarity when you catch for example all b uh, grade uncommon fish you could get the chest this chest they are not uh, really good ones for this rarity but for example if we would again 
if we will go to the first location here, Marsh Adventures, and uh, you will you will check the reward. You see, it's golden chest. So if I'll catch S S tier of the um, all this fish, I get golden chest, which is very not bad thing. So a lot of uh, advanced players they still dwells in first location. By the way, you see, right now I am alone here. Uh, and fishing alone, it's actually a good thing uh, if you, for example, farming gold. Because every time when you catch a fish, it scares off other fishes, you see? So fish go all, when I catch the fish, all other fish go away. And if there are a lot of players at the field, they scare off your fish. So if you are farming gold, for example, it's better to do it alone. Also, alone you could use special power-ups to spawn more uh, fishes, spawn uh, fish of uh, certain rarity, so it's also a cool thing. And you could use baits, by the way. Baits, they basically just uh, give you bonus to attack. That's it. So, I do not use baits really right now, because I uh, just started and I think it's better to leave them for later, because later on, at high-end location, you will need to use bait. But when you just start to just starting and like first on seven location or more even, uh, your rod will be enough. So wait till you will get to the end game and then you will um, do it. But uh, yeah, playing with other players, it's fun. And um, most importantly thing, you will have better rewards uh, from the events. Also, note that this game it actually has like several servers for each location. So, for example, this first location, you see there are no, no one here. But if I go to this location again, I am connecting right now, you see, I am together with another five players, uh, which is uh, very fun. So, yeah, you see, here we have event f to get a uh, golden chest, by the way, which is very nice. But I wouldn't spoil the fun for new players, because you see there are oh, not only new players, but also some advanced ones. Um, but actually, yeah, this is competitive, competitive game, so don't, uh, he, don't hesitate to fish uh, with new players together, because actually new players, all, all players, they have uh, good chances to catch any fish. And it was a lot of times when I catched, uh, when I fished here with some new players, and they, they catched fish which I can't do. So yeah, it's quite a fair play game. Really nice pike here. Let's try to catch it. Yeah, nice. Oh, come on! You see, it's a new, it's electric pike. I didn't have it in my collection, and I have a new star. So you see, after I'll catch four more new fishes, which I didn't catch before, I'll get a new level. And after I'll get a new level, I'll be able to get to the more high-end locations. And as I said at the beginning, actually fishing in high-end locations is actually a good thing, because here it's easy to get stars. Uh, the only problem is that you will need a few attempts to get the fish out, but eventually you, you see it like two, two attempts. Not one, but two, so it's uh, twice slowly. But the bonus is that you get here additional gold. So the, the more advanced location, the more gold you get from it. So it's quite important thing. Also, you could invite, uh, add friends to your friend list and you are welcome to add me. To do it, you, sh you should do it with a code. Like my code is NFVN3414. So you could uh, add other players and also fish together with them, together with your friends. So uh, basically that's it. Some basic stuff which I wa wanted to share with you today. And actually there are a lot of different secrets like uh, playing with a fish, playing with your hook. Uh, in different ways so yeah just tr try it and uh, train and eventually you will uh, 
understand the art of fishing in this game. Hope to see your comments. Please uh, write to me and subscribe to my channel because I make videos about best mobile games. Have a good day. I am Idle Glass. See you.